Britain has gone over six days without burning coal, and guess what? The lights are still on. At the time of recording, it's been over six days since the UK relied upon coal burning for electricity generation, establishing a modern record of over 160 hours out coal, eclipsing the previous best of 90 hours set last month. A spokesman for National Grid said, as more and more renewable comes into our energy system, coal-free runs like this are going to become increasingly like the new normal. And they believe that by 2025, they'll be able to operate Great Britain's electricity system with no carbon. By not burning any coal since last Wednesday, power plants have helped the UK pass an early milestone of achieving over a thousand coal-free hours this year, making it look likely that the nation will beat last year's feat of going nearly 2,000 hours without burning fossil fuel for electricity. And we've got to put into context, just the year before that, in 2017, the UK achieved what it thought at the time was a remarkable accomplishment of going just 24 hours without burning coal. A decade ago, coal's contribution to the UK's grid was over 40%, the primary source of energy. These days, it's dropped to well below 10%, a massive decrease with an 88% reduction occurring in 2012 and 2018. The lights haven't flickered and power's still being produced because at the same time, other energy sources have stepped in to make up the shortfall. For example, in 2018, 5% of the UK's electricity came from coal, with just shy of 40% coming from gas, 20% from nuclear, and almost a third from renewables, and primarily wind to be honest. Whilst the numbers are undoubtedly cause for celebration, it's important to remember that coal isn't the only harmful fossil fuel in the UK's energy mix, with gas still outperforming electricity provided by renewable sources, and a tiny asterisk on the numbers as well, because they refer only to coal that's being used for electricity generation. Uh, coal still used, of course, throughout industries, and uh, significant emissions on the back of it. This means that continued growth in wind, solar, hydro, biomass, electric efficiencies, energy storage, and all the rest of the technologies is going to need to carry the country through the calm grey days. Precisely how much growth is needed will depend on exactly the future energy mix and energy demand. But to give some perspective of scale, one 80% of the total UK energy supply, including electricity, land transport and heat, still comes from fossil fuels. As Andrew Crossland, an energy policy researcher at Durham University said, the tens of billions of pounds already invested in low carbon electricity is just the start of the country's journey to a fully decarbonised fuel mix. Indeed, British Secretary of State for Business Greg Clark has given the strongest indication yet the government is preparing to put into law the recommendations of the Committee on Climate Change, which said that Britain should aim to cut emissions of carbon and other greenhouse gases to net zero by 2050. As he said in his statement, going a week without coal for the first time since the Industrial Revolution is a huge step forward in our world-leading efforts to reduce carbon emissions. Right now, there remain six fully operational coal power stations in the UK. They're mainly used as backup power generation. By 2025, if the government has its way, there will be none. And today's six-day streak will be replaced by an even more impressive tally, 365 and counting.